Paul Composites are uh, becoming a key player in the aerospace and defence sector for Composites. So we're manufacturing now for a number of OEMs. The uh, company's been around for five years, uh, progressing gradually in that market. So we've drifted away from motorsport more towards aerospace and defence and had a lot of success. Um, and the company's growing. So we've recently invested probably in excess of half a million pounds in clean rooms, uh, upgrades to autoclaves, new CMM machines, new freezers, uh, working towards NAD Cup accreditation in Q1 next year. We can take it from a concept, we can do the design, we can do the FEA and stress analysis if required, uh, full design, full tooling package, full jigging package, assembly, we can outsource any metal work and we can take the complete assembly through the paint shop and deliver a finished part. It's a growing market, it's a stable market uh, in terms of security for people, it gives you long term vision to build a business around. So you can work with your customer, you find their needs, you can support their requirements and you, you have that time frame to do it. So it's, it's not a bit of a quick, quick win with motorsport, with aerospace and defence, it tends to be a more of a long term vision and accommodating their needs and building that relationship. But yeah, you, you're talking more about a sort of a, a production run market, although you don't see the high volumes you'd see in automotive you certainly see more than you would in motorsport. So you're looking at programs that perhaps are going to last anything from five to 10 years or maybe more. So it gives you that long-term production run, that security for the employees, which is key, security for the business to, to justify investment going forward. It's again good to let our customers know what we can provide. It's a chance to meet up with them outside of the working environment, which is always good. It's always a good networking to see what's going on. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things that you don't expect to pick up orders at a show, but you can get inquiries and you can actually update customers perhaps you haven't dealt with for a while, uh, that have drifted away or haven't had the demand for parts and so on. They can see what you're doing. You don't have to go and pester them on their doorstep every five minutes. Everybody's busy, so they'd probably rather take a day out and come to the show than you pester them in their, in their office when they want to get home at night. So, so it works quite well for us. Yeah, and, it, and we can do a bit of a light-hearted thing with, with the golf course that we've done and stuff like that. So it works well.